double header. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to our special edition Tuesday evening team call. I just could not wait till Thursday. Like there was just no possible way I was going to be able to wait till Thursday to do this conference recap because it was exciting and we need to bring that fire and excitement to those of you guys that were not able to attend while it's still fresh and burning in our bellies. Um, before we started recording, I was just asking everybody to put in the chat if they, number one, were at conference and they're still on fire right now. They're still excited, right? It, you leave there and you're like, you get a new fire inside of your belly. That's for sure. And I also asked um, to please put in the chat if you were one of those people that got a bonus in January, February, March, or April. If you were one of those lucky people to grab one of those bonuses, let us know in the chat which bonus you grab so we can we can uh, celebrate you today. It is insane. I mean, everything's insane right now, but <laughs> just the vision of leaving conference and just the excitement and the fire that's in my stomach. And I know, get, I remember my first one and what it did for me and just catching the vision and like leaving. And, and I was a different person. Like how many of you guys feel like that is exactly what I needed. That is what I needed to catch the fire. And I literally left feeling like a different human being. Like I was in a different wavelength than everyone else around me that wasn't with my company. Like I, I just felt like I get it. I get this. This is so much bigger than me. This is so much bigger than anything. And to be a part of something so humanly special, it's so cool. Not only that, you guys, but We've got people on um, with us tonight that weren't able to be there, and we've got to bring them as much of that excitement and as much of those aha moments as we can so that they can try to get that little bit of fire. You know, I was explaining the other day on a, or this morning on a Zoom, it, you know how it is. You go to your concert, like your favorite concert in person, and it's like, there's nothing like it. If you watch it on HBO Live, like it's not the same thing. And it's the same thing. Like some of you guys watched it at home. It's a totally different feel when you get to be there. However, let me tell you what, you don't have to go to a conference to succeed, right? Like there's plenty of people. I know people that just got to their first conference because we didn't have one last year. So they didn't have that opportunity. So don't use that as an excuse ever. Use that as an excuse. But we're going to try to bring the fire to you guys tonight. And um, I just have to give a huge shout out really quick. For the fact that you guys, we had, okay, so they gave awards away there and you different awards for like, you know, growth and um, different uh, ranks and, and different like growth awards as far as that goes. And then, you know, all these kinds of things. And then the magazine, and it is so crazy. We had five, five of our team. I'm pretty sure from what I looked at, there were more people from our team than any other team in the magazine. And then there were also more people. Um, we had at least five out of the 10, award, 10, 10 spots were given out on each award. And at least five of the people, every category were our people. Um, it's crazy. So if, you know, I, I kept thinking at some point our team's gonna slow down, right? Because we came in and we still hold the record as the fastest team to go 200K in the company ever. And um, we were on fire and I keep thinking, you know, when is that time where our team's going to slow down? And let me tell you what, we are four and a half years in and we are not slowing down. We're still dominating in this company, which is so freaking exciting. So I am so excited to share with you guys aha moments from the past weekend. And like I said, even if you were there, look, sometimes you miss things. You could have been at lunch or in the bathroom. So it's good for you to get hear those little aha moments that other people have because you might not have caught it. And it may be something you needed to hear. Um, and I have quite a few people that are on that have been there. And I'm going to let a lot of people speak up because I think that's the best way to get you all that vision, right? Because everybody had, everybody takes things in differently and grasps different things and different things touch I'm them. On. And I remember sitting next to... Um, here, let me mute. Oh, I remember sitting next to um, Danny at, at one point and seeing an eye bubble that for her. That was really cool. So um, it's just awesome. I'm so, 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 so excited. I want to pull in. Um, well, I don't know. I mean, Danny, you're you're on. I know you're here. I know you had some aha moments. So I thought I'd pull you in really quick first and have you share just kind of what you what 
what was your aha at conference? Yeah, well, you know, I think the past year has been really tough, you know, and, um, you know, I think for everybody, you know, especially, you know, I've been going through some stuff personally, but um, I think what's in Lindsay Coggin, she was one of the um, panelists and she came on and, um, you know, she said that she went all the way up to 80K and then lost it, like went down to like barely nothing. And she knew she had to either um, go back to work as a nurse or get to work. And that just like really resonated with me. Not that, you know, I've been out of the workforce for quite some time. I'm not going to be going back. But the thing is like, it just, you have to, like, it just really lit that fire under me. And I'm like, I'm sitting there crying at the table. Lisa looks over to me. She's like touching my arm. She's like, are you listening to this? And I'm like, yeah, because, you know, it's, I've been struggling lately. And, um, and I just need to, I think you get comfortable too in your business and I just need to get to work, you know? And I think, so um, to be honest, I wasn't going to go to conference. Um, personal things came up and I wasn't going to go. Um, Lisa messaged me, she's like, um, are you not going to conference? I'm like, no. And she basically told me I didn't have a choice, I had to go. So um, thank you, Lisa. I really needed to go to conference. I didn't realize how bad until I got there. And, um, you know, it's been a long time since we've been around this, you know, our people. You know, I did go to Cabo in, in um, February, but this is completely different from getaways. Getaways is, you know, you're relaxing, you're on vacation, um, and you're kind of, it's a release. But this is where you go, conference is where you go and you get your, your fire lit. You go and you you meet with other leaders and you listen to other stories and you meet with your teams that you haven't seen in a year. Um, and it- Danny, I accidentally muted you and it was such an accident. Unmute. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Um, I, somebody else came unmuted and then they, it, never mind. I, I can't explain it. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, I, you know, I I went when I I went really down. I had to go by myself. Mark unfortunately couldn't come with me, and um, you know, I I really needed this. It really lit a fire. I came back um, determined, with a different mindset. Um, I was able to go to the VIP party. Um, I have you know an amazing. Um, up one, Jamie Pekka could not make it, so she transferred her ticket to me. I'm very thankful for that. And I was able to go and talk to Moria and Tony, um, spent some time with Chaz, um, talked to Jason Camper and Paul and a bunch of other people. And, you know, it was just really nice to be in, in the presence of people where they are where I want to be, you know? And I heard this so many times over the weekend that you may not be where you are right now and you see all these people getting awards and, you know, maybe your business isn't where, where you want it, but these people that are earning these bonuses that are on the stage getting these awards that hit 200K, hit the Millionaires Club, this, is, this shows you that it can be done. And I really needed to hear that because I heard that over and over again. And I really needed to hear that because, you know, when you are struggling with your business, you like, oh, you know, why not me? Why not me? And kind of start feeling down. But then like you go to these things and it really, really gets you to where you need to be in your mindset again. Because, you know, like I said, the last year has been so hard for everybody because we haven't been able to get together. And um, this was just such an amazing experience for me. Um, I really needed it. And I'm so happy I, that you made me go, Lisa. <laughs> yeah, me too. Because you did. <laughs> me too. You did. And it's the only place you get to rub shoulders with like, you know, people think, you know, you see Paul on a call or Jason or whatever. And you just don't think, 
you know, they don't seem real and dude, they're just right there. Like, I mean, I, I can't believe how many times I ran into Drew or Paul, like this at the hotel, like, Oh, Hey, <laughs> like they're just real people. Um, and I, you know, getting I, a picture with somebody, it's, it's just cool. It's the coolest I, thing. I never, I see, um, oh, go ahead. One, thing, one more thing. Like I have never, like I've, I've had like a conversation with, um, Paul before, you know, in a group of us, whatever, but I've never sat down, like I didn't sit with them, but you know, just, I've never had a conversation with Jason Camper before. And I was kind of intimidated by him because he seems very like, you know, very sure of himself and very, you know, very confident. And he just comes across a little scary to me. Um, but let me tell you, when I had a conversation with him, it was just me and him. He like locks his eyes on you and his focus does not waver from you. Um, where like when you talk to people, they're like, you know, always looking around who's around. He, like he made me feel so important and I could have been saying anything and he would have made me feel so important. It was amazing. That's so cool. It's so cool. And I mean, it, cause I honestly, there were so many people that by the end of the weekend that we met for the first time and they were like, oh my God, you're just a real person. <laughs> like sometimes it feels like people aren't when you know them on social media and then you realize, oh my God, these people are just, I mean, they're like me. If they can do it, I can do it too. Even the CEOs of our company. I mean, that's the cool thing about our CEOs is they, they've been in the trenches. There's a lot of CEOs from a lot of companies out there. They've never done the promoter part. They've just been company owners. Jason and Paul both have been promoters. They know what it's like to be in the trenches. They know what it's like to get no's. They know what it's like to, they, they know what it's like to feel disappointment and defeat. They've been in our position before. And that's exactly why they created the company this way, the comp plan this way, because they wanted everybody to win. And I think that's like the coolest thing ever. I see one of our um, new millionaires is on the, the Zoom tonight, Steffi G. What up? So <laughs> I just am so proud of you. It's so crazy how big your team is. Do you remember the first conference you went to, how many people you had compared to this? Oh, we were just talking about that. It's crazy that you said that because the very first conference we ever went to, shit, was it New Orleans? I think it was New Orleans. Um, and a lot of my team couldn't afford to fly down. So I rented a van <laughs> and piled 16 people into this van and we drove. <laughs> and now Wait, that was 16 like six people to what? I don't even know how many you had. 314 at conference this time. It's freaking crazy. That mm -hmm. is, it's insane. It's insane. Okay. So, I mean, besides the fact I'm sure you had a ton of ahas. Um, I mean, I know something that's been on your dream board. You've been in network marketing for a while. I mean, Lavelle is not your first company. And I'm sure that it's been on your radar, you know, to be that millionaire status, to make that much money. And I'm sure it was surreal. I know it was when I did. So I'm sure it was surreal being like, oh my God, like I did this. Like, like, what the hell is this? Like, what? I look at that plaque and I'm like, I, sh I point at my husband. I'm like, babe, look, he's like, I know. I can't believe it. I'm like, neither the F can I <laughs> like, what is this? So what, give me some of your like, ahas. Um, my biggest aha was, you know, I had a lot of people ask me, do you like conference or do you like lifestyle getaways better? And they're like, I just want to know your honest opinion conference. Why? Because it's even a place for me as, as millionaire status, as 200 Ks to grow, to meet people that inspire them. I met a lot of my sidelines that inspire me. And I straight up, I get that little girly starstruck and I'm like, oh, I follow you. It's so nice to meet you. I, I tell my team about you. But the one thing that I really, really loved hearing and listening, especially from my team was I got to talk to so-and-so and they didn't push me away. I got to see, I got to meet, um, you know, a twin and she gave me a hug and she like talked to me like a person. I got to talk to Chas and, you know, the thing with this business and our company especially is we don't, when you come up to people, when you go up to people and you're like, Hey, how are you? You're such an inspiration. Give me some of your tips. 
They don't say, um, you're not on my downline. Get the hell away from me. I'm not making a penny off of you. They welcome you. They give you a big old hug and they tell you, girl, let me tell you what I do. This is what's been working for us. I was standing up there on stage next to Courtney Glacier. And I was like, okay, so what's your PPA? What are you kind of doing? What team incentives do you have? And legit, just a straight up conversation. And for me, seeing that, not just with like knowing that that does that for me, but watching everybody else have that experience and just see people walk away, just smiling ear to ear and telling their friend that they're with, I, we got to remember that we got to remember how she just used that verbiage to seal the deal with that customer. Um, you know, it, that was, that was honestly my biggest aha. It was just so humbly. It was such a great feeling to see so many people be able to meet people that inspire them and walk away with a smile on their face where with my previous company, I'll be real. Like there's times where I even said, well, shit, she's a bitch. She didn't even say hi or congratulations or anything like major stuck up. And it's not like that over here. And that's, it was just good to see and good to see. Um, so many people, you know, walk away with a smile and not think, well, shit, never following her again. That yeah. was my big thought. Huh? <laughs> no, it's so true. Like, if you've never been in another network marketing company, you don't appreciate how awesome Lavelle is because like with our other one, people had their ranks written on them. Like you were intimidated. And mm -hmm. with Lavelle, you don't know what rank anyone is. You could be standing in line next to somebody just having a conversation and they could be a millionaire or 200 K you don't know. Like, and nobody treats you like you're less than like, it was just, it's just such a different culture and it's so refreshing to be a part of it. And it, it's like a, a huge aha for me every single time because, and I think it is for us stuff because we came from a company that was total opposite. Like yeah, we're 100% like, total well, opposite. Yeah. I mean, we just appreciate it so stinking much because it's just, it's totally different. And I remember being that person going to my first conference and just feeling like I wasn't good enough in the other company. I felt not good enough as, as the top rank in the company and a millionaire because people snubbed you, you know, and it's just over here, such a different total atmosphere and to appreciate it, you've got to get to it. You guys, you really, 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 really do. Do I have anybody from twins team on like a dude twins team? I just got to say y'all killed it. <laughs> like seriously, I think there was two people from twins team in the magazine. I mean, we had between Steffi G's team and twins team. It was crazy. Um, <laughs> as far as dominating some of those awards. I don't know. Do we have anybody on? There's too many people for me to go through the list. Hi, Lisa. Hey, girl. How are you? So um, I'm from Twins Team, and I was there. Sorry, I'm at um, Martial Arts Pass right now, so I have to keep my mask on. Um, and I absolutely agree with you being able, you know, and, and everything that you guys said, just being able to meet and socialize um, with everybody on all levels was absolutely amazing. And seeing how many people from our specific team on stage with all of those mini awards has just been like so inspirational and it's like literally looking to my right and to my left and saying to teammates like we're gonna be up there on stage next year it's like the most amazing feeling no it is it gives you like that vision of oh my gosh i can do this like i can be up there like i'm no yes. different than these people um <laughs> and yes three people so it was crazy because i did not know who was in the magazine and so as they were coming up there, I'm like filming it going, oh my gosh, we have another one. We have another one. And yeah, yeah. three people from Twins team were up there. I know Christine, you're on. You were you were in the magazine, weren't you, Christine? Yes, yeah, sorry, I couldn't unmute. <laughs> oh, you're good. Oh my gosh, first of all, congratulations. Like that's Thank huge. you. So huge. And what was your, I mean, you, you were at one of our conferences before, weren't you? This isn't your yes, first one. 2019. I came with just one person in my downline. Like I literally dragged her there with me. And then I saw twin on stage. I didn't really know her yet. 
And I was like, wait, this girl can do it. Two kids and she's Asian, just like me. If she can do it, she's up there. Like I, I'm going to, I'm going to be up there next. And two years later we came back and it was like, not just me on stage, but so many of our, you know, our own team was on there with me. And that was like freaking amazing. And like two years ago, you came with one person. How many people were with you this time? Like, I want to say like over 160 that bought in the back um, cloud office. It's just crazy. Like that's, that is insane growth. You guys, that's what can happen in two years when you put your head down and you like do it, you just do it like every day. And that's the thing with everybody. I mean, all of you guys show up, you never not show up. And that's the key. I mean, you guys are consistent. You keep the main thing, the main thing, and you show up every single day. Um, and I'm sure that was like a huge aha to just watch your team grow that huge, like in just a short period of time. Did you have anything specific that was talked about or announced or anything that you were like, oh my God, that's huge or aha or anything? I loved everything. Like I know the training, the panel this year was a lot smaller because of like the time crunch and stuff, but like everything was like so good. Like I loved, um, you know, when Rodney came on, he was talking, I think um, my team, myself, like we related a lot to a lot of stuff that he said, and it's just like, keep going. You know, people are going to bring you down. People are going to say stuff about you. People are going to judge you and you just have to keep going for yourself. Like no matter what this you're in this for you, for your family, right? Right? So you need to find your why and you need to just keep going. Yeah, he's he was one of my ahas when he said, look, this business is 98% mindset, 2% skill. Like, it, it's just an eye opener because there was nobody up there that was anybody special that had like some network marketing guru. I mean, everybody, they're just normal people, different backgrounds, different sexes colors it doesn't matter like what you've done in your past it's crazy because you can get up there you can be on that stage one day walk across it as a 200k a millionaire if you want to and it's just about not overthinking it and not thinking that you have to have some special skill because you don't it's about your mindset and believing that you can do it and yeah that was so powerful when we were in the room Rodney was having everybody he would say something and we would have to say basically, you know, don't quit, you know, like, don't give up, keep going, keep going, keep going. Um, because you're going to hit these hurdles. You're going to have people in front of you on Facebook. You're going to have friends and family tell you you're crazy. You're going to have someone tell you you were in a pyramid scam. You're going to have people tell you that you're never going to go anywhere. You're going to face no left or no. And you just have to keep going because the only difference between the people that walked across that stage and the people sitting in the audience is they're going longer. They've just gone harder. They've just put more time into it. And that's it. There's no difference. Hey, my dogs love to bark when I get on Zooms. Um, okay, so I'm going to kind of like, oh, um, Lacey, I see you're on. And I know that actually Jill Lacero, I don't know if she's on. Jill had one of like the biggest growth awards um, for her rank like crazy I didn't even know that I was like oh my god that is the coolest thing ever and there was also something that struck me too there was a uh, millionaire walking across the stage that I think was a 40k they had never been a 200k but they've been with Lavelle since the beginning and they've earned a million dollars like you guys do not have to be a 200k to walk across that stage you can walk across that stage someday as a 4k a consistent 4k and I think that that is one of the coolest things on this planet. I don't know how many of you guys else, I mean, for me, that is an aha moment. Like that is, oh my gosh, I don't have to get to the top rank in this company to be a millionaire someday. That is freaking amazing. I don't know. That was huge. That wasn't aha for me. But um, Lacey, I know for you, the last time you were at a conference, your team has grown pretty significantly too. What was your aha? So this was actually my first one. Um, the first year I was I here. You were they, like, oh, because two years ago, that's right. Yeah, okay. so conference was like a month after I started my first year here. And so nobody from, from like my team went. Um, last year, I think there were five tickets bought, but they didn't have it. And then this year I had 48 people there, which was really exciting. I'm kind of mind blown right now about what you just said about the 40K on the millionaire. That's wild. Like if you didn't think we were in comp plan heaven, <laughs> you know, um, 
one of the things that stands out to me that, and I can't remember who said it, but somebody was talking about um, doing vision boards for your team. Like I'm really, really big on manifesting and knowing what I want and envisioning it and putting the energy out there and stuff. And so when they said, know what your team wants in that way too, and not just business wise, but like know what's on your team's vision board and see that for them too. That's, that was huge for me. So that's something that I'm going to do. And I'm really really excited about the detox. I can't even handle it. Like, I feel like they, they gave us somewhere to go. And they even said this when people say I, it didn't work for me or nothing happened. Like we have something to fall back on. And that's, I love that. That's exciting. Yeah, I agree. 1000%. And you're right. If we don't already have the best comp plan on the planet, I <laughs> like, if that doesn't prove it to people, um, actually I had heard there was a 12 K and a 40 K that walked across that had been That's in since wild. the beginning. That's awesome. And I'm not like absolutely positive, but I do know that there was like a 40 K and I was like, that is just freaking like, I cannot wait to tell my team this because I think people just get that vision in their head that I can't do it. Y'all, I even, if you, even if you're freaking thriving free and maybe grabbing a couple customers, I mean, you'll walk across that stage. It might be 50 years from now, but you'll make a million dollars. I mean, it just, it's about sticking with it. And so that was another aha moment for me. Don't worry about what other people are doing. Don't worry about what your upline's doing. Don't worry about what your downline's doing. Worry about what you do. Because if you're a crazy customer getter, and you're pulling in crazy paychecks, you're going to be on that stage in a couple of years as a millionaire pulling in customers. Like it's about income guys, not rank. I'm sorry, but I have 200 K's that are paid like four K's because they don't do the do like you can have four K's paid like 80 K's. It's all about your personal growth. I mean, yeah, there's people on our team that their PPA alone is $12,000 a month. They bring in $4,000 a month. That money adds up real freaking quick, guys, when it comes to income coming in. So don't worry about what the person above you is doing, the person below you is doing. Worry about what you do. And I'm telling you, that's that's like the ticket. That's where you're not getting that comparison game going on. You're not worried about a rank or a number. And you guys know how much I preach that. Stop looking at the number. Stop looking at the rank. If you're basing your success off a of PPA and numbers and rank and what your rank is right now, you are always going to feel defeated. Don't place it off of, you know, am I doing the right actions? And am I further than I was last week? Am I further than I was last month? And stop playing that game because it's it's a game you'll never win. <laughs> I'm glad I don't play the numbers game because I'd be like, wait a second. Why is my volume this way when it was this way? Like I, I would, it would eat me alive. I can't see that. So I base my success off of my actions. And that is where you don't get distracted. You do not get distracted. Um, oh my gosh, we have so many people on. I don't even know where to start. Um, I had some people that I asked in the, um, in the uh, Dream Team page, hey, do you want to share an aha moment? And I want to, I'm going to get to that list in a minute, but do I have any other um, 80Ks or 200Ks on or 40Ks or 12Ks? Somebody that it was their second conference, anybody that wants to share? I just like to hear your growth. Like how many people you had at the first one compared to the, this one. Hi, Lisa. Can you hear me? Yes. Hey, it's what's Katie. up, buddy? Katie. Oh Hi. my God, you guys. First of all, Katie, your team. Katie is one of the people on our team, you guys, that grabbed 100% matching bonuses. Do you guys realize how hard that is to do? I think we had three total people do that under me. Like yeah, on, so, on our entire team. That's crazy. Like Katie, but, you are a freaking rock star. <laughs> I had, um, so under my account, we I had 17. And then I had four under my husband. So he has a 30%. So it was it was nuts, but, um, I wasn't going to say anything because my kids are sleeping and I was like, don't unmute yourself. Don't start talking because then they're going to get out of bed. <laughs> but I just wanted to share because, so I was there, um, in 2019 and I went as a 200 K and I thought, Oh, like I I've made it. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I had this, like I made it mentality and I had no idea what was yet to come. Like after conference in 2019, um, and I just want to like be vulnerable, vulnerable and share this because I want people to know that it's not always like an upward climb to, to the top. Um, after conference in 2019, we had nine 12K, 12K 
K leaders leave my organization. Um, a lot of them took people with them naturally. Um, and I will say that they are either all on their fifth, sixth, seventh, or 10th company, <laughs> or they've came back. Um, but that was a very hard time. So it was a lot of rebuilding. Um, and I remember in 2019, I think we had like four or five girls. Like it was not, it, it wasn't a big group um, that were there with us. And after a lot of things crumbled, I kind of had this like well, was that it? You know, that I was, I just like a one-stop shop. Am I, am I done here? And I, I lost 200 K we lost 80 K uh, leaders walked away and it was literally the hardest thing ever, but staying consistent, you guys, and it, I can't preach it enough. And I feel like people, you probably go blue in the face preaching consistency is key. You can go back and look at my page through all of 2019 and you will never know that I was in the hardest spot of my life. You will never know that people left my team. You'll never know that volume dipped and you will, you will never know because my excitement stayed the same. My consistency stayed the same. My enrollment stayed the same. The way that I show up stayed the same. The way that I shared stayed the same. And because of that, I was able to bring new promoters in and we have doubled the amount of leaders that walked away to begin with. We have doubled the amount of car earners, auto bonus earners that we have. And we like quadrupled the amount of people that were there this year. So when I walked away from conference in 2019 and my business crumbled, I thought that was it. And then I stayed consistent through all of 2019 and all of 2020 because I've seen it. I've seen 200K in my back office. I've seen it once. I know I knew I could see it again, you know? And I think so many people, if you've ever lost a rank and it happens, think that you'll never see that again. And it's not the case because Courtney Glaser stood on stage and said, I've lost rank five times. She's lost 200K five times. Her upline left, my upline left. She's doing a, a million and a half, you know, in team sales every month. My upline walked away my business crumbled and we regained 200K and we're stronger than we've ever been. We've got better leaders than we've ever had, more community than we've ever had. And it's because we stayed consistent. And then just getting around those like-minded people. I don't care. I mean, if you watched it at home, like kudos to you for getting it at home, it's better than nothing. But I'm telling you, nothing matches the feeling of being in the room of like-minded people. There's nothing that could bring it. And I think it was Stephanie who just said, you know, conference or getaways, conference every day of the week. Like, you know, a, a getaway is nice, it's a vacation, but something about being around people who have the same vision and the same goals and the same drive as you, you know, show me your five closest friends and I'll show you your future. And the sad reality is that so many of us live in communities where what we do is not normal. So many of us have unsupportive family, unsupportive friends, unsupportive coworkers, and that shit can be draining. It could be exhausting and it can make you want to throw in the towel sometimes. But these events are literally what will help you retain your business, will help people, you know, you retain those promoters on your team and will help you grow relationships. And I'm telling you, it is 10 times harder to step away from something during the hard seasons when you are invested and you have best friends doing it with you. And that's what these events do for you. I'm sorry. I lost my voice already. I probably shouldn't even be talking. <laughs> I, I just want to say a couple things about you. And the first thing I want to say is you guys, I watched this happen to Katie and I've seen so many people go through that same thing, that same exact place. And they quit. They gave up. I can attest to the fact that Katie never slowed down. It, was it probably defeating? Heck yeah. Was she in a bad mood? Probably sometimes. Did she think, did she have those negative thoughts? Well, guess what? Probably we're human, but you never stopped your PPA. I mean, I think you're one of the people on our team that you have held a top PPA since you've signed. Like you did not let that slow you down. And because of that consistency, your team is stronger, better, bigger than it ever was. And I also have to say, you know, Katie shows up. I mean, she's one of the only leaders on our team that literally goes live in the dream team page, constantly helping you guys, giving you information, no matter whose team you're on. And honestly, Katie, you just don't get enough credit. Um, and that's got to change. So I love you. And I just am so proud of you. Thank you. It doesn't feel real. I remember, and it's so funny because I don't know. I mean, maybe I shouldn't bring it up, but I remember my last business, I had like a $2,000 check for the month <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, I made it. Like, is this what it feels like? And I had no idea that there was something so much better out there. Like I literally had no idea what I was missing. And that's why I will continue every single day to share this because there are 
hundreds and thousands and tens of millions of people out there who have no flipping clue what they're missing. And it's going to take them seeing you talk about it repetitively for them to pay attention and just never stop. Just never stop. Amen. You guys, if you guys are not inspired by Katie's story, like, holy cow, like wherever you are at, I know I'm thinking of a couple specific people in my head right now that are in the same position that Katie was in. And I hope you heard this. And I hope you heard the people on stage this weekend that had these same stories. Here's the thing. I've been doing this for 11 years and I can promise you that if you don't quit and you stay doing the right actions, don't worry about anything else. Eventually you are going to go back up. You always will go back up and it's usually bigger and better because you learn from your mistakes, you learn from the things that you could have done better, did wrong, work harder. Well, you know, there's just be a better leader, all of the things. And if you take those lessons, learn it, but you stay the course, you will always go back up. The only people that don't go back up are the people that quit. And like Katie said, all of those people that left her team that thought they saw green or grass somewhere, they're onto their fifth, sixth company. The grass is not greener than Lavelle anywhere, y'all. And, and you know what? That statement's true. The grass is green where you water it, but there's something special about the Lavelle grass, y'all. It kind of starts to grow in without you even putting water on there. Like, that's how good this shit is, okay? So don't disappear and don't think that it's over for you no matter where you are right now on your journey. It isn't over. Like, like, like Katie just said, she knew she could go back to 200K. She did it the first time. If you're on here and you were 80K before and you did it the first time, you can do it again. If you were 12K, you can do it again. You did it once. Why are you doubting yourself? Why are you doubting yourself thinking you can't do it again? You can do it again. Get those thoughts out of your mind and start getting focused, focused on what you're doing every single freaking day. Um, and Katie, again, I just can't even, y'all, three people on our team got 100% matching bonuses. I, I think I, th that's all I know about. Do you realize how hard it is to have 12 personally enrolled? And Katie has 17. Do you, can you, do you realize how 12 personally enrolled grabbing a bonus on your team? Do you realize how difficult that is? That is like crazy. Like it's hard for me to wrap my mind around because I only had one person do it. <laughs> so, so there's that y'all. Um, the season in my business, I'm in a weird season. Like we all go through it 200 K or not. So Oh my gosh. So huge. So huge. Okay. I want to open this up. Who just has an aha something. Oh, wait, I want to say this before we open it up. You guys products release. We have the, the detox. I think that's going to be huge. And Jason was saying, you've got to get off the Lavelle products and do the detox, like to, to detox your body, then start their products again. Um, I think that's what he recommended. Right guys. Like, correct me if I'm wrong. And then they've got the new powders that that is a sequ the sequential technology that no one else on the earth has but Lavelle we're the first company to do any kind of technology like this literally a powder you put on your tongue that within 20 to 40 minutes it's working um chill and heat I think that's what it's called chill and heat <laughs> yeah, yeah I don't take notes and this is why you like I prove every day anybody can be a millionaire like I seriously do y'all um, so I think it's chill and heat, maybe chill and something chill and heat. Okay. I guess right. Um, so chill is like, relax. Heat is like, you know, burn, get, get your body heated up, burn some energy. It, it, I mean, it, good stuff is coming. You just have to be ready to share it with the world. And Lavelle is going to keep producing. Lavelle is going to keep coming out with more stuff. And if you guys, the new, um, way to bring in um, brand new customers and getting them samples. You guys, that's huge because now you can put a link on your page and say, you know, sign up here to get a sample. And then you can provide that sample any way you choose, whether that's through your back office or you still want to send it. But, you know, I've got three spots the first three people to sign up. Like now we have this whole new system that you can use. And if it's utilized right, um, we're going to talk more about that on Thursday night, how to use that and how to utilize it to grow your business and how huge it can be for your business. But the one thing about Lavelle is they're always giving us stuff. They are always giving us stuff to, to make things better. We just have to now take it and do something with it. You just can't sit back and, you know, wish and pray. You've got to take the tools they're giving us and run with it. These new products, especially the new technology that is exclusive to Lavelle, it's a first to market product. That is going to be as big as you make it. 
that's going to be as big a deal as you make it to the world, right? If you don't do anything with it, then you won't do anything with it. That's up to you. So we're going to talk more about that on Thursday night, but who, I, I guess we're just, I just going to open this up. Like it will just go one at a time. I hope it doesn't get too crazy, but whoever talks first, who has an aha moment or something they want to share from the weekend? I have something. Hey, Shannon. All right. So there was one word that I heard just as much as I heard consistency, and that was community. With the community that we have, there is no way that not every single one of us can be a winner in this company. You have to have that clarity. You got to know what you want. You have to respect your process. You will grow. You just need to keep going. You are your biggest objection. Don't quit. Be a voice of the product, but be a voice of yourself more. Show your face, show your passion, and they will come. And I am definitely looking forward to chill. That's all for me. Amen. Because obviously we're on a private call, so I'm going to say this, but nobody say that I said this. Jason literally said anxiety. Like he said, we can't claim this, but anxiety. Like y'all, if you're an anxiety anxiety sufferer like me, like I'm an anxiety and depression pages, okay? Like I'm going to go to town with this chill stuff. If this works, like, oh, if it works for me, I'm going to share it like no tomorrow because so many people suffer from anxiety and panic attacks. It's like, it's huge. So, I mean, just, yeah, I can't wait. I cannot freaking wait. Okay, who else is on that wants to share? Wait, so who, was that, who was the speaker? He wrote yeah. that book, um, Unfuck Yourself. Is that what he wrote? Gary Bishop. Yes. Okay, he was, I had so many people tell me they had um, aha moments from his speech, but um, so I don't know if anybody wants to share that, but hey, go ahead, girl. Joy, you're, me? you can go. Oh, yep. okay. So no, like, I don't know, like everyone was saying before, like for me, like a lot of it, like, Part of it was, yes, being in the room with people who are millionaires like Maria and Amber and Amanda and like not feeling different, like they treated you the same, like you are sitting there with these millionaires. And if you were a stranger and walked in that room, you wouldn't be able to tell what anybody's rank was because we were all having fun. We were talking and just being like one, like that was really cool to me. That like really made me feel good. Like it didn't, it gave me more of a vision of, I can do this. They're just like me. They're not different, you know, cause you guys say it all the time on the zooms and everything, but until you're like in front of someone like that, I don't think it really, you're like, no, there's something special about you. Um, but I also, you know, an aha moment for me was how they were saying like she, um, they had the speakers up there and they were giving suggestions of things to do with your people and how they said, anytime you sign up a customer, like once you go back to check in with them, ask them, hey, would you make a post and tag me in it? Because that's gonna help you help them thrive free. So you're gonna keep that customer and it's gonna help you build your volume. Um, that was really important as well as if you want to run fast or yeah, if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go slow, do it as a team, really feed into your team, love on your team, um, be there for your team because a lot of people reciprocate from like being recognized, being appreciated and things like that. And I think a lot of times like you know, I know I did before, like it's a product and yes, we're selling it. Um, so you need to get the mindset this that you need to provide the customer service as well. You know what? I'm glad you brought that up because I do want to say that, I mean, have you guys ever heard that saying, you know, people will, will kill for money, but they will die for recognition. And it's so true. I mean, mm -hmm. I've been doing this 11 years and I've had people tell me I would have quit so long ago if it wasn't because you, you know, you've been in my inbox and you've been there when to answer the questions and you sent me a card in the mail. And it's the little tiny things to show people because here, here's the deal, you guys, in network marketing, everyone matters. No one's more important than anyone else. The brand new person that just signed up that's thriving free is just as important as the 40K. 
everybody holds a place. You need those people that just want to get free product just as much as you need those people that want to be 4Ks, just as much as you need the ones that want to just be 12s and, and so on. And you've got to realize that it's going to be the, the community, just like Shannon mentioned, and then like Joy mentioned, then appreciating people that's going to keep people on your team. And, you know, that's one of the things I would ask yourself right now. Am I, an, am I a promoter and roller and do I keep people? Because if you're a promoter and roller, but you don't keep people, it's time to look in the mirror and why don't I keep people? And, and because 100%, if every single person you sign is quitting, it, then we got to look at why is that happening? You know, maybe you're not signing people that were serious in the first place. That happens. But it could also be the fact that you're just not creating that community. And that has to happen. And you can't use as the excuse, well, it's only me. It's only me. I'm the only one. That doesn't work, guys, because you'll never get to four. You'll never get to three if you don't start creating your community with just two, right? You can. Create- and it's never just, it's never just you. You have to plug in and utilize your leaders. Use those leaders. Don't be scared. Like, you know, utilize the people around you. Like I messaged Heather Klauski today and asked her to do a live with me. You know, because she's just a person. I met her. She's just a person. Had I, would I have done that six months ago? Probably not. Will I utilize her for three ways? Yes. Will I utilize you, Lisa, now that I've met you at the retreat? And Palooza, yes. I mean, you have to utilize the people that are are successful if you want to be successful, I guess. Yeah, Don't I mean, you, you follow the them. leader. Absolutely. And you can't hold back your whole life and be scared. You just have to do it. And trust me, anybody above you that wants to grow is not being bugged. <laughs> they, they want you in their inbox asking for help. If you're growing and you want to learn that that's what they're there for. You guys remember these people are making money off of you. That's their job. All of us. So don't be afraid to get in those inboxes. Well, Um, what was that that Maria said? Like she was messaged like 15 times before she said yes. Yeah. I mean, we heard that all weekend long on stage. Every story (laughs) that was told, how many times people had to be messaged before they actually joined LaBelle. It's like a commercial, guys. You know, you see the same commercial five times. Like last night I was watching TV and there was a Burger Burger King commercial three times. I'm like, by the third commercial, I'm like, I need to go get a damn Whopper. Like they, they, they're they smart. They know that you've got to see things like eight to 12 times before you even go, what is that? Like, tell me more before you even show a lick of interest. So it's up to you to be consistent. And again, that word consistency is so huge. Um, who else do we have on that wants to share? I have something, Lisa. Hey, Michelle. Hello. Okay. So I typed this in my notes because it was dark and it was easier to type on my phone, but he said it was Gary Bishop. And I just want to say that, I mean, I have not listened to a ton of emotional, uh, I can't even talk a ton of motivational speakers, but he hit me really hard. Like I was so blessed to be in that room. It was a really like, look at yourself type of you know, talk that he gave us. And I really love that about him. But the thing that I typed in my notes says your success in life is exclusively tied to the degree to which you can keep a promise to yourself. And that kind of hit me because I think that, you know, we're in a people business, we have uplines, you know, downlines. And I think it's natural to depend on other people for, you know, whatever that might be but really it's up to us and somebody on stage, I don't remember who it was, but she said, you are your upline. I think she was talking more about like people who don't have one. I, you know, I mean, I'm blessed that I have several amazing uplines, but you are your upline. You're the upline. And I heard that mentioned on the zoom this morning too, that you did. Um, I don't remember the lady's name, but like, I, I don't know. I just kept hearing that. And so I think that like what I took away from that was like, just the conference as a whole is that like, you know, how does that saying go? If it is to be, it's up to me. Like we, we have to stop depending so much on other people to deliver motivation for us or, you know, volume or support or whatever. And we really have to just show up for ourselves because I mean, I'm just going to admit it. Like I break promises to myself all the time. So if I can't keep a promise to myself, how am I ever going to keep one to someone else? So that was a great you know, speaker session or whatever you want to call it. And I took 
I was almost in tears with it because it was just really like kind of a gut punch, honestly. Like it was a really, really, really good, whatever you call it, speech or whatever. But I mean, we got to depend on ourselves, and that's who comes first is you. You know what I mean? That's such a powerful statement. And I mean, you are right as far as when I look at the 200 K's on my team and the 80 K's that are, that are at that rank, I don't think there's one of them that, that blames anyone. They just go find the answer. They go figure it out. They don't go, well, my upline never got back to me. So I'm just going to sit here and twiddle my thumbs until they do. No, if the upline doesn't get back, then they go find <laughs> another one. And if they don't get an answer from that one, then they go YouTube it or Google it. Everybody at that rank is very proactive and they don't wait around for somebody to do it for them. And I think that that is huge because in order to ever be a 200K or an 80K, you've got to be self-sufficient. You can't play the blame game and you've got to be able to look in the mirror pretty often and figure out, okay, what is it that I'm not doing that I need to be doing in order to get to that next place? So that is so, 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 so huge. Who else has something they want to add? I have a few I things, think- Lisa. Um, who went first, Dora or Elizabeth? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Elizabeth, go ahead and then we'll take Dora next. Okay. Um, so I took way too many notes, but I'm sure they'll be super useful. I this- knew you would. How did yeah. I know that? <laughs> <laughs> Um, this is something that I've struggled with a few times in the past. So it was definitely really nice to hear this is uh, all the time. I feel like I'm obviously not the only one is people, well, I already take vitamins or they're already on some sort of regimen. And I always get stuck when people say that. And I always, you know, the absorption rates always come to my mind, but I hate throwing that out because it's just, I feel like it's just trying to convince you that ours is better and not a so cool way. Um, So I think it was, I forgot who said it, but when people say, well, I'm already on vitamins, asking what kind, what do they love about it? Because more often than not, when you do find that out, people are going to tell you not too much about what they love about the vitamins that they're already on because they're not doing anything because of the absorption rate. So I really, really loved that because um, I always get stuck when people talk about the vitamins that they're already on. I never know what to say. Um, so I definitely got a lot out of that. Um, and I also loved... Um, talking more about thriving for free on stories and stuff. I feel like a lot of us and a lot of my other sidelines or whatever, I don't see us talking about that so much about how we can get our product for free. And I feel like if we talk about that more, you know, people, people are going to be more intrigued. And I just feel like that's something that's just not talked about enough. Um, And I know earlier someone mentioned too, it was just so nice being as a community in a whole together because 2020 was rough and you know it, we haven't been together a lot and I loved how I forgot who it was but they did a whole segment on locals and I feel like that's something that a lot of us should really try and take advantage of and start doing a lot more of and just getting more face to face now that we have this normalcy of life coming back so I loved that and I took a picture of like the agenda of what she does for her locals too um if anyone is interested in that, that wasn't there, but I just think that's a really good way of trying to spread the word and just getting face to face again, I think is a great idea. I love it. And you know, it's so funny. I always, when somebody says to me, oh, I already take vitamins. I always get this really huge smile on my face and I'll say, oh my God, seriously, what is it? What do they make you feel like? And they always look at me like I'm crazy because I'm so excited. And they're like, they don't make me feel like anything. What do you mean? What do they make me feel like? And I'm always like, you don't feel anything from your vitamins. And I look at them like they're crazy. And then they're like, am I supposed to? And I'm like, heck yeah, if they're good. Like, seriously, you're so right. Like people don't usually have much to say. They're kind of just taking the vitamin D because they think they're supposed to. They're not expecting to feel something from the vitamin D. So it's like, just have those little, and that's like that little thing right there. Elizabeth is like so huge. Like It's something that stumped you, but you picked it up from conference and now you're always going to use it. Like, this is why we get on Zooms. This is why we go to these things because it could be just little things like that that help us out in our business. And, you know, we can take all those little tiny things that we heard and then, you know, kind of make it, make it our own. And it's huge, 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 huge. Um, I think at the same time you were speaking, somebody else was, who was it, Dort? 
Yeah, it was me, Lisa. Anyway. Hey, girl. Hi. So one thing that stuck with me, conference, and um, basically the overall connection, the overall feel that I got from the event. Um, I've never been to conference at all. This is my first time. I just signed up back in October. And um, I just felt like a very welcoming, but yet what really stood with me and what's gonna be my pushing point to next year is Paul, Drew, everybody never once said New Mexico. So what my thing that's gonna follow me till next year is that next year I'm gonna make him say New Mexico is number one. Go girl, that's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> but that's hashtag goals and you know what yeah. that's the thing too is I remember so many people you know I remember my first conference literally being in the back the very very back and thinking I want to be on that stage one day never really yeah. thinking that would happen you know what I mean you just eat but once you say something out loud and you make it a goal for that can happen I mean anything you set your mind to can happen so I'm looking forward to next year when they say the words New Mexico and you're a big part of that that'll be cool <laughs> okay who else do we have that wants to share um <clears throat> i'll go hey, Melinda. hey um this was my first um year at conference um one of the things that i liked was one of the speakers said be a professional friend maker use your voice show your face um, have some clarity, reach up, then reach down, tell your story, don't be afraid, and always be consistent. That one really got me because um, when you're first starting out, you're always like really shy. So you're like, oh, you know, I don't want to repeat myself. I don't want to um, put my face out there. I feel like I'm going to say the wrong thing or whatever. But if you're just speaking your truth, you can't really say the wrong thing. So that Somebody really said got that. Me. You can't say the wrong thing to the right person. I remember they were like, you can't say the wrong thing to the right person. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so true. If somebody wants to do this, if they're, it, your excitement is, is kind of pouring into them, you're not going to say anything wrong. There's nothing wrong that you can say to the right person. I, I just freaking love, love, love that. But you know what? You this is why I love doing this call, this recap, because there's little things I miss like that. And it's so true. You know, one of the things that I always focus on is not, I think a lot of people wake up in the morning and they're thinking, oh my God, who am I going to introduce Thrive to today? How am I going to bring this patch up? What am I going to say? And if you just wake up every day and say, I'm going to be, I'm going to make a friend today. Like I'm going to make a new friend today. It has nothing to do with Thrive. It takes that pressure off and it feels so much like easier i think anyways <laughs> did you have anything was, was? but someone said people will never forget how you make them feel and give people the opportunity to tell you their story and what they want out of the products and i thought that was very powerful too oh hugely hugely powerful people forget what you say but not how you make them feel absolutely one thousand percent one thousand percent i think if you ask most of the people on here that have come into this industry and gone fast most of them will tell you I don't know what I said or did. I don't know. I didn't know what was in the products and I didn't know how they worked and I didn't know this, that, or the other. Why do you think people joined them? Because they were excited. It was their passion. It was the way they were making them feel. They excited them and they wanted to be a part of that. That's the key, you guys, not overthinking it and not thinking you have to know all the things. That's so, so huge. Um, I didn't mean to cut you off, Anita. Do you want to say anything else? We have so many people on. Um, who else? Anybody else want to add? I don't care if we go over. If people want to get off and miss out on the information, then they can do that. Can I add something? Absolutely. Hey, Toby. Okay. Hi. Um, okay, so I was with Twins team pretty much the whole time. Twins kind of like adopted me into her team. I love them. Um, but my one of my biggest aha moments, oh my God, Lena, I'm actually about to talk about you. So one of my biggest aha moments was not even at conference itself. It was more of like just being around all the Thrivers. I've never been around like that many Thrivers for like 
um, this long of a period of time before. So just being around everybody was like absolutely insane. And just like seeing how people talk to people, like if you guys were not like around other thrivers and like doing what you could to talk to strangers, like we stayed in a hotel that had a lot of like non thrivers in it as well. And just watching people talk to people who like aren't introduced to the product already, like just listening to those conversations, seeing like, wow, that's how they do it. And like, one of my biggest fears in this business is belly to belly. I hate doing belly to belly and like watching people do that was insane. And I was in an Uber with Lena actually driving from Dallas to Fort Worth and the entire ride, she talked to the Uber driver about Thrive and like completely asked him questions and like everything. And like, it was like one of my biggest aha moments. I literally was sitting in the back seat with my jaw on the freaking floor because like she was like speaking so perfectly about it. And I was like, wow, I'm literally like sitting here letting like these little tiny things stop me in this business. And she just drove for like 45 minutes with an Uber driver, like nonstop talking to him about it. And I was like, that was probably one of my biggest aha moments, just being around everybody and like learning and like hearing all these stories and like pouring into every single person that we could. Okay, first of all, I've got to know how the heck you got Twins Teen to adopt you because I've been trying to get them to adopt me for like two years. I'm an honorary Asian. They all know this. <laughs> Wait, those girls can drink. Did you do some of that with them? Are you are you still recovering? <laughs> yeah, literally, I am. I, the first night was so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how they get up the next day. I'm like, how the hell are you guys looking this good? And yeah, I think they do shots of water. I swear to God, like y'all. It. So I can totally see you, Lena, one hundred percent. And you know what? That's my biggest ahas every single time I go to conference. It's what's happening around me. Um, and and also, I bet you it was like huge when you saw people talking to other people about Thrive. You kind of make it a bigger deal in your head than it is. And then when you see somebody else do it, you're kind of like, okay, I can do that. Like, I'm making this so much bigger in my head than it needs to be. And it's like, I don't know how many people on our personal team have met people on a lifestyle getaway or at a conference and they've signed their next rock star in the elevator or sit next to them on the beach. You know, it's, it's like crazy. And who are you guys not opening your mouth to that you could be, that could be your next rock star. You could be sitting next to them and they're going to sign with someone else at some point. They could have been yours. Like it, that's, it's so huge. And you're right. Like those big ahas don't just come from the stage or what people say there, but in between just picking people's brains and hanging out with people that are like-minded and getting to see how they, they work it. It's huge, huge, huge. Um, anybody else want to share? I have something I want to share. Absolutely, sweetie. Okay. So, um, it kind of goes off of what he, what Toby was just saying about, you know, being kind of scared to talk to people. Um, one thing I, really stuck with me that I think it was Janessa, I think is her name on stage. She said, closed mouths don't get fed. Um, I feel like if we're not talking about the product and what it is doing for us and the amazing community and business and everything about it, nobody's going to know what we have our hands on. And I just thought that stuck with me the most because my ex's mom used to say that to us at like Christmas and Thanksgiving, you know, well, if you're hungry, you know, closed mouths don't get fed. And I never thought I would look at that in a business side of it too, because, you know, it's, it's so true. Like if you don't speak up about it, you know, nobody's going to know what we have. And, and that's the amazing part about it is we just have to open our mouths and, and talk more about it and share our experiences and, and share more stories. And I, I, I feel like that's what I have been lacking and, and that really stuck with me and opened my eyes. So I just had to share that. No, that's huge. And I want to say to you guys, like those of you guys that join me for the morning show, you guys know that I just started thriving like a month ago. <laughs> this is a long story, but you all, it's so true. Like if you aren't using the products, you're not as excited about them. Like I can't keep my mouth shut now. Like I've been doing this for four years and like I've thrived on and off little bits here and there because I get freaked out about the products. It's a long story. I'm a hypochondriac. But anyways, I cannot believe the difference in my body and everything in one month. I'm like, oh my God. But that's why I was only signing mostly promoters. Like if you're excited about it and you're using it 
and you're like, you just want to tell the world. Like I could sell ice to an Eskimo if I'm excited about it. Like that's just how most people are having those genuine things. Yeah, everybody's laughing at me. They were laughing at me in the morning. I'm like, Chas told me, Lisa, don't you dare tell anybody you just started thriving and you're a millionaire. Um, but it, it, I mean, it truly is an eye opener. Like I would sell the hell out of blast in the skincare. I use that every day, but when it came to thrive, I didn't talk about it that much because I wasn't using it. And the difference that it makes for you, the way you feel, you want to open your mouth. It's like anything you find. So if you find that disconnect, guys, I would ask you, are you being consistent with the products? I mean, I know a lot of you guys say things like, you know, hey, I, I can't afford it. You guys do what it takes to get those two customers. Do something to get on this product. You know, splurge on yourself. You know, when we really, one of the things I found in life is that when you really want something and you really want to make it happen, you always find a way. And if you can, I'm sure there's things you can think of in your life to cut back on to get your Thrive experience, because that is what's going to make the difference in how you're explaining these products to people. And I know some people on my team can't thrive for various reasons. I've got a couple girls that can't use um, the lifestyle mix in the patch because of selfish and one because of a dairy allergy. And that happens. But guess what? We have 26 products in this company. Fall in love with a couple of them. I've got one girl that went 200K on balance, like literally balance. That's her jam. Like, <laughs> so it's just about falling in love with something, using it and letting it change your life and then wanting to share that with others. And also keep in mind that just because something's not your cup of tea doesn't mean it's not someone else's. Like, I don't like move. I think it's disgusting. It's gross in my mouth. Um, but I have people on my team that it's helped them so much and they love the taste. Like, am I not going to share that with people because I don't like it? That's, that's just silly, right? Like you want to open up and know that just because somebody doesn't want the Thrive experience, we have 26 other amazing products that they might want to start with and love. And it's crazy once you can get somebody to fall in love with one of our other products, how easily it is to upgrade them to that experience once they see that something else is working for them. Then their mind and eyes open and they go, oh my gosh, yeah, I mean, huge, huge, huge. So, um, and like I said, we're going to go a little bit longer tonight because we've got a lot of people on, but who else wants to share an aha? I have one thing. Yeah, um, please go for it. So the speaker, Gary John Bishop, I had never read his books, never heard him speak. He was phenomenal. Like I literally got up yesterday and listened to like a four minute YouTube, did it again today. I've been sharing it with my team for these past two days. And one of, one of the things that he said, and I kind of followed up, one of the speakers was talking about, you know, don't compare yourself to other people. And he was talking about being confident. And he said, I mean, these are my words, but he basically said, you know, you don't, you're not confident because you have a nice house or a brand new car or a Barbie doll body. You know, he said the way that you build confidence is by keeping promises to yourself. So you get up in the morning or even the night before you write down something you're going to do, and then you do it the next day. And the more you can keep those promises to yourself, the more you basically like trick your brain into just believing that you're a goal getter. You know what I mean? You're just somebody who does what they say they're going to do. And that's how you become a confident person. Um, so that was super powerful to me. And I did it. I got, I got up today and I did my clean, my daughter's four year or my four-year-old daughter's bedroom. Um, I'm giving my dog a bath tomorrow, the shit I don't want to do, but it makes you feel good. You always feel good after you do something you don't want to do. <laughs> I did it. You're all proud yep. of yourself. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's days that I don't care what business you're in. Lavelle is amazing. I mean, it's the best job on the planet, but there's still days I don't want to do it or I don't feel like dealing with people. Or I think if I have to talk about this damn product one more time, I'm about to shoot myself in the head. Like we all have those days, but guess what guys? If you picture anything else, doing anything else in the world, I mean, this, it, this is the best alternative out there. Like, this is the best thing. This is the only choice, in my opinion. I mean, to work for yourself and own your time and get to a place where you're collecting residual income and making a difference in people's lives, you just have to pick your, choose your heart, right? I mean, you can work hard at a job 50 hours a week, every day until you retire, or you can work hard for the next five to seven years doing Lavelle and change your family's life forever. You got to choose your heart, guys. Um, who else? And that, man, I, okay, so, you know, I wasn't in the auditorium for Gary John Bishop. Like, I'm so upset. I hope somebody recorded it or something. 
Lisa, it's Dora. I did record him. I have it on my live personal page. Oh my God, I need to watch it. He was absolutely phenomenal. Like Lacey said, I also, I never read his book. I've honestly, before the conference, I never heard of him. And when I, I heard his speech, I went to Palooza. The minute I landed in New Mexico, I ran to Barnes and Noble and I went and got that book. <laughs> yeah, I even have the book. I, I've read not all of it, but part of it. So I'm going to read the rest of it. But yeah, I think I heard more people raving about him than anything else this weekend. Like that was a lot of their aha moments in his speech. So, so huge, you guys. Like to follow people, especially that aren't in network marketing, but just people that motivational speak and write these books. It's huge. I mean, that's part of mindset, mindset growth. You guys find somebody you like, like him. If you like him, he's got lots of stuff. He's got more than one book. Like go and dive in because if he motivates you, there's going to be other things that he has out there that's going to motivate you as well. So anybody else want to speak up? Don't get off without speaking up. Hey, Christine. Hi, Hi. Um, so this was my first one and holy shit. <laughs> um, it was amazing. I got to just, first of all, I got to meet you and that was absolutely amazing. You're so nice and you're gorgeous. And I appreciate you taking the time to pour into us and do this type of stuff. Um, I also got to meet Amanda, which she is amazing. Um, I think the best part and I know everybody has said it, but it's absolutely the community. Like, dude, I got to work out with Chaz and like that blew my freaking mind. Um, that was probably, and, and listen, you guys, she also prayed for my mother, which I think was very, very heartfelt. She didn't have to do that. She didn't even know me. Um, you know, my mom going through some things right now, but I needed to be present in the moment and being around like-minded people made that so much easier. Um, even though I had things to worry about, it was like everybody was just there. And they all just kind of, we all kind of loved on each other. Yes, we had our, <laughs> we had a ton of crying fest. It was kind of ridiculous, <laughs> but I think it was much needed because we haven't been around each other. And we, we were strangers at the beginning of this trip. And now we're like best friends and family. And I think out of everything, yes, we know the products are amazing, but out of everything, I think that is what everybody craves is being around people that are exactly how you expect them to be. You know, I, well, you reminded me of a story. I was standing there and some girl comes up and I might've been, I don't even know. It might be somebody on this Zoom, um, but she says, oh my God, you look so much better in person than you do online. Like, oh my God. <laughs> like, is this a compliment or like, is it that bad? It was the funniest thing ever. Anyways, I laughed for like 15 minutes. Um, you're so right. Like getting around people and it's not, it's the same. Like I, I know you Zoom with people and you talk to them on the phone and you meet people like that. But at the end of the day, you guys, it's not the same as getting with them and you leave with friends for life. Like, because everybody's there and they just want good things for you. And like, you know, real life isn't like that. I didn't know about you guys, but before I joined Lavelle, I didn't have people in my life that were just like, all I, they worried about themselves, right? I mean, there, there wasn't a waking up every day thinking, how can I help someone else? It was, how can I help myself? And I mean, that's just kind of how the world works. And when you get into a company like Lavelle and you get around people like this, that really just want to see you succeed and be happy. And, you know, they get excited when you reach your goals, even if they're not reaching your, theirs yet. Like, so huge like just so cool to be a part of that um who else wants to share hi lisa hi lena <laughs> okay so you I... the uber drivers hey girl the uber drivers are mine <laughs> <laughs> hey i share we share we rotate right toby we, we share. share um yeah so this year was my second one and it was, it was so different, right? Like the first year, you're so unsure, like what you're kind of expecting. And I remember my very first year walking in and I was like, whoa, this is crazy. <laughs> and I was so inspired in that room that I came home and I quit my, my corporate job. 
Um, Cause I was like, wow, you know what? Like if the company is like this and it's such a baby company, like I want to go all in with them. And it was one of the best decisions I made because I actually leaving that, it gave me so much more time to pour into myself and to grow and to, and then this year when I came back, like I wasn't really expecting, like, you know, I'm walking around and then people, I'm sure this is like how you felt and like how Amanda felt where it was like, you're walking around and people are like, you inspired me. I'm like, oh, I don't know what I did, but okay, that's, that's, that's so cool. Like, you know, like if I can have any, anyone at any level at any time, that is like what I live for. Because when I was in corporate, like you work so hard and you're climbing this ladder and nobody recognizes you no matter how hard you work and you, and if you work any harder, it's like, you're still, it's still not good enough. Right. But then there's here, you, you know, you, you can share a few tips with a certain people and it impacts them so differently. And, you know, when John Bishop was talking, it was crazy because what everything he said that day was everything I shared with my team on Thursday. Like, I was like, whoa, I feel like I just walked right out of his book, but it wasn't even him that I heard it from. It was um, just another motiva motivational speaker. And, you know, when you're at that kind of level of looking for inspiration, I feel like everyone pours in the same way into each and every one of you. So if there's something you guys can take away from Thrive Palooza, I would honestly tell you guys, when I came into this and Lisa told me to self-develop, I was like, what the hell is that? <laughs> Lisa, you gave me everything to build this business um, and a clear understanding of things. Like I remember listening and you like you guys were talking about find gratitude in your day. And at that time I was, I didn't even know I was in the darkest of the dark. And every day. I think we're losing you, Lena. Out of a You're kind of cutting in and out. Or maybe it's just for me. Is it just for me, guys? Track and a half. No, it's me too. Okay. Lena, I don't know if you can hear me. You're cutting in and out a little bit. I think we lost her. But I want to add something to what Lena said because, I mean, that that's so huge. She went to her first conference, came home, and said, I'm going all in with this. I'm quitting my job. But I remember when I was waiting tables and bartending, I mean, it didn't matter what I did at that damn job. Like it just did not matter what I did. I never got the credit where credit was due. It doesn't matter what you're doing. Like it just, you're, you're not appreciated. Like you are here. I remember the first three years, cause I do not know how to take a compliment. And when people would come up and say, you inspire me, I'd be like, shut up. <laughs> cause that's how I deal with compliments. You learn how to just be like, thank you. But it's the weirdest thing to have people tell you you've inspired them because you just don't realize the impact you're making on people just by sharing your story or your journey or a tip. It's so huge. Lena, I don't know if we have you back. Yeah, I lost you guys for a second. <laughs> I'm yeah, like, dang exactly it, she cut I mean. out. <laughs> I don't know where I cut out. I looked down and I'm like, oh, it cut off, but it's okay. Um, but yeah, that's basically how I felt like with going to conference this year. Like I almost missed it looking at the amount of stuff that we had to do to get there and like to get back and we have to like quarantine for 14 days and self isolate for a day and stuff like that or three days all these things but I'm just like you know what it'll be worth it like being around all that energy the like you know especially after not seeing people for such a long time right it was worth every little bit and what I love so much about the company is just like how humbling everyone is everyone down to the presidents and the CEOs and like how who they they know who you are and stuff like that so if you're ever feeling like you know you're kind of lost pour yourself in pour yourself into self-development pour yourself into this company I swear it's worth it it is it is and when like Rodney said this is 98% your mindset it really is like it, for those of you guys that are on tonight and you feel like oh, I just don't know why I'm stuck I'm doing all the right things why am I stuck I, I encourage you to look at the mindset piece. I encourage you to look at what are you doing to grow past those limiting beliefs that you have, because it's usually limiting. You know, we've, I think this year so far, we've done three retreats already at Trasses. And last year, I think I was at five retreats at our house and every retreat, 
when we sit down with people, we get around a fire and people start sharing. What we always find is it's never something in the business. It's not other people. What, when it all boils down to when they're stuck is a limiting belief. That's something that's holding them back. And self-development is, you know, I know it's foreign to a lot of you guys. It was foreign to me when I started, but it, matters. it really, 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 really matters. Um, anybody else want to share? Yes, I'm sure. What? Can we make slime? We still got 125. I'm woo. Check that out. I'm kind of surprised. Usually when we go over, y'all start hanging up. This must be a good one. Um, anybody else that was there that want to share? That kind of anything that no one else shared yet? Don't feel shy. I'll share. Hey, yay, Sasha. This was my very first conference and I was blown away by how everybody was just kind of, I don't, they, they were friendly and like amazing. Like I wasn't, I didn't expect everybody to be so friendly, but the one thing that stuck out about at the conference itself was where they said, stop hiding behind graphics. Like that stuck out huge for me. I was like, I put a lot of graphics on some of my stuff. Like when I post, I always make sure that, you know, I've got something somewhere. So I'm like, I've got to stop getting away from all of these graphics. Cause I put a little bit too much on my posts. Yeah. It could be a tip like that. <laughs> like it's just something that's small that can help you out. You know, the things you don't think about. That's awesome. And congrats on attending your first conference, by the way. Thank you. Anybody else? I know I can feel it in my psychic mind that somebody wants to talk, but they're scared. Do it. Step out of your comfort zone now. Okay, maybe my psychic abilities are off today. No one? I'll share something. Emily. I did not. Hey. <laughs> um, so I did not get to go to Thrive Palooza, but tonight while we were on this Zoom, I just want to tell you guys to use your upline again. I know that we already covered that, but use your upline. They're there for a reason. Um, I think Brittany really helped me save a few people in this past month. I've only been in a month, so I'm super excited. I'm super pumped. And Brittany's awesome. Lindsay's been awesome. Katie's awesome. It just goes on and on. So use them. They're there. They want to help you. So that's it. I love that. And you're new. I mean, that's why you yeah. weren't there because you were new. You didn't get a chance yeah. to do it. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure they decided to be there next year. Like, yes. Yeah. You'll be there for next year, but you are so right. You have to utilize your uplines and you, nobody's in this alone. Like if you, especially if you're new, you just heard it for somebody from somebody that's brand new. Like if you're feeling like you're doing this by yourself, then you're doing it wrong. I mean, that's the thing about network marketing. You're in business for yourself, but you are never in business by yourself. Only if you choose to be, because there is a ton of people willing and waiting to help you. I get so excited when somebody's in my inbox because that means they're working. I'm like, woohoo, I got something to do. Like, I mean, and a lot of people just assume that people are too busy. I get that all the time. Well, I was going to message you, but I just figured you were too busy. Okay, well, everyone thinks that. So I'm sitting over here picking my nose like, hello, somebody message me. I want to work. Um, so just don't make that assumption because I can promise you that any upline that's truly working is going to be truly ready, ready to help you. And again, that's, that's your, that's their job. I mean, it, at the end of the day, this is a business, right guys? I mean, it's a business and uh, anybody above you is making money off of you. Their job is to step in and be able to help and support you. And there's a fine line too. You know, they're not supposed to do it for you. There's a difference between doing it for you and helping and supporting and guiding and mentoring, you know, and being there to do three-way messages and giving you wording. Yes, that's all help, but don't wait for an upline before you go try to look and find an answer or, you know, there's, don't forget there's that fine line, but we're here. And if you're not utilizing your upline, that's your choice. Like if you end up quitting this business, if you decide to go, 
and you go never giving your upline a chance to help and support never knowing that you didn't do everything you could to try to make this business work that's on you like you've got to get over yourself get over whatever fears are holding you back and and do it just do it can i add something in lisa absolutely thank you okay so i didn't go to conference but the one thing that I think is really important is transformation photos. Um, and they've really like, in the beginning, I didn't put like any transformation photos, um, but I actually did one today for the first time I did myself. And I've got a lot of people interested now from sharing those transformation stories and a couple of different people from the week prior from sending other people's transformation stories it really showed them a change like a difference and I think they're really really important nothing better in this world than first of all your own transformation story or photos and it doesn't have to be weight loss guys it can be the look on your face this is me before I thrive all looking sad and unhappy this is me after thrive sharing your story Stories sell. That's the other thing they said on stage this weekend. Everything is about stories. It's about sharing other people's stories. People are wanting to feel that way. It's not about getting in somebody's inbox and saying, hey, you want Thrive. It's about, this is why I think you need Thrive. Here's my story. This is what it's done for me. And I've noticed your post and I want to help you. Like it's how it is approached. But you guys are never going to know if you're only sharing your own story. That's why we have the Laval Van page. That's why we have Facebook Lives for you to interview people. Because guess what? Not everyone is like you in your situation. So if the only story you're ever sharing, if the only transformations you're ever showing people is your own, you're limiting to us to one group of people. That's why we have this amazing fan page and a team full of people with different stories that you can borrow their stories. Third party credibility, getting people in three way messages with an upline or a sideline or a downline or somebody with a similar circumstance or story because your prospect can relate to that. And when somebody can relate, that's when they can open their eyes and their vision to what it could do to them. That's when they can kind of see the future. And, and you guys, so many of you guys are not utilizing the people on your team or those, those fan page stories. And not enough people are sharing stories. I mean, we have Transformation Tuesday for a reason to remind you guys to share, 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 share. Um, who else? Liz? Hi, I'm Lindsay. Hi. Um, I am under Julianne, who's under Katie. Um, but I just wanted to say that I actually have gained weight because of a totally different reason. I've actually stopped taking my ADHD meds half as much as I used to. So Thrive has been a completely different experience for me where I can truly say, like, I know that we're not allowed to say it helps with your anxiety, it helps with your ADHD, but you guys, it works. It works so hard. And it's something that I just believe in so hard. And like the weight loss thing isn't my thing. It's the happiness. It's the not being a slave to my meds anymore. It's the fact that I am able to like live a happy, reasonable exciting life without having to get up and take my 20 milligrams a morning. So I don't actually have the weight loss thing, but I have the, you look so much happier these days and it looks good to see a smile on your face these days. And I just wanted to share that because I've only been working with Thrive for like three months now, but it just is such a different, like so many people love the weight loss, love the weight loss, love the weight loss, but like this is just like a whole different experience. And I just feel like I just had to like scream about it. <laughs> no, that's a good point. I'm glad you pointed it out because sometimes people are, I, I don't know how many people when I introduce them to Thrive, oh, I've heard of that. Isn't that a weight loss thing? Like they don't even realize that Thrive is, it's a nutritional supplement. Like this has nothing to do with weight loss. I mean, if you want to lose weight, I've got some things that can, we can try to help you do that. If you want to gain weight, I can help you do that too. And if you just want to change some of the things going on inside of you, we can do that too. Yeah. And a lot of people don't know that they're not going to know unless again, share stories from other people that don't just have weight loss stories or before and after pictures of here's my flat belly. Like 
there, Thrive is so much more. And Thrive never started as a weight loss company. Never, ever, ever. Yeah. Thrive and started I, because uh, Paul had bad knees and he wanted something for aches and discomforts. That's why Thrive started. And yeah. And it, yeah. Sorry. The funniest thing to me was I, you know, I came into Thrive because I, I just wanted more energy, but like, honestly, um, there was, it just, it, it literally, like I hit the ground running thriving from there. And there was just so much more that like came back at me. Like I still work my full-time job, but I just believe in this company. What? so much that I hit 4k last month. Like I would just love it. I'm just want everyone to feel as good as I do. Amen. Amen. You guys, <laughs> I just have to tell you all what my dog just did. Oh, Lord. Dogs are like babies. He just opened a hacky sack and there's little beads in it everywhere. And he's eating all the little beads. Please. Somebody tell me these aren't like, these aren't like poisonous. <laughs> God. Poisonous beads in a hacky sack. Yeah, this is my life. It's my life. Um, okay, well, one more person. Is there anybody else that wants to just share anything before we get off tonight? Because apparently I need to clean up 8,000 beads that are in my rug so my dog doesn't die of a hacky sack overdose. Lisa, did you have an aha moment? Um. You know, <laughs> my aha moment for me this year was how many people, I can't believe it, you guys. My first conference, 26 people, 11 years in, and it took three photos from three different teams, and still we didn't have everybody in. Like, I had 800 people from our team go to conference. It's, it's, it's insanity to look at that and go, I was just a waitress from Toledo, Ohio who said yes, <laughs> and that was scared, that like 100% thought these things were pyramid schemes, said all the things, I'm, I'm not a salesperson, I'm not going to be that person that sells things, I don't want to be one of those creepy people at all, I had 300 friends on Facebook, in fact, you know what's so funny, in my time hop today, a post popped up from 11 years ago, and I had just started in network marketing, I just started adding friends on Facebook and my Facebook post said, Hey y'all, I have 600 friends on Facebook today. Um, now I have 5,000 and 35,000 followers and it's just crazy. But I saw that post thinking, man, look where I started. Like, look where waiting tables 70 hours a week. And I remember literally going in the bathroom at work to try to do this business and still working 70 hours and coming home and staying up you know, getting home at 2.30 in the morning and staying up till 4.30, sleeping for three hours and then getting up and going to work because I wanted to make this work so bad. Like, I didn't care what it took. I just remember thinking, this is my only shot. Like, I am 37 years old. I am, <laughs> this is it. Like, if this don't work for me, there is no rich person in my family dying and leaving me money. Like, this is my thing. And if it does not work, then I will be that person that is constantly struggling the rest of their lives. Like forget paying for weddings and colleges. And I mean, my kids are gonna have to do something great because they're gonna have to take care of me. Like at 37 years old, I kind of succumbed to the fact that look, this is my life, like it sucks. And to be here 11 years later, it, to, to, I can't even describe to you guys, you don't forget how you lived 37 years of your life. Like WIC paid for my kids to have formula. Uh, yeah. food stamps kept food on our table many times and my car that I drove had one door that opened we all had to crawl in through no air conditioning the windows did not roll down um and there was like a piece of plastic over the back window we all had to crawl in through one door I mean that was my life and to think that I'm here and and then if you know me and get to spend any amount of time with me you realize if that Lisa did it you can do it too because I truly am not together I don't have calendars and you know I'll write the most important thing on a sticky note and then throw it away and be like what did anybody do with that like I'm a mess but I made this work for me I remember getting books on the organization because that's how unorganized I am and going okay I need to find something that works for me I'm never going to be the most organized person in the world but, and, and I thought you had to be these certain things to be successful. And I had to take what I was and improve the things that I sucked at, but never was going to be great at in order to do this. 
but I had to be open and I had to want to learn and grow and get over myself and self-develop and all of these crazy things. And to think 11 years later, because this waitress from Toledo, Ohio stepped out of her comfort zone and said yes, and had 800 people literally at a conference that was all a, a direct reflection of my yes in some way, shape or form is insane. And then to have six millionaires on my team and we just had our thousandth auto bonus earner. Like it seems unreal. Like even now, sometimes I have to pinch myself and go, how did this all happen? I still don't know how it happened. All I know is that I made a decision and I wasn't going to quit and I wasn't going to stop. It didn't matter how slow or fast I went. I made my mind up. This was my shot. Like there's not many things in life that are going to come your way, guys, where anybody no matter what their background is. I mean, I barely graduated high school and I wasn't good at holding down jobs because I didn't like to get up in the morning. That's why I waited tables so I could work at night. Like I look at just how the choices I made it before in life and the mistakes that were made and what other thing was going to come my way to give me an opportunity like this. And I know a lot of you guys are on here and, and the same thing for you, you know, and it's just the coolest thing ever. So that was definitely my aha was just the amount of people, how much this has grown and pinching myself every day. I, sometimes I still think I'm going to wake up from a dream <laughs> and go, nope, I'm back to my, the life. I, like this cannot be for real. But every day I wake up in the morning and more people are joining and more lives are changing and we're still here. So it's, it's a pretty cool thing. And it's so exciting because I know every single person on here one day is going to be doing heading out of Zoom like this, and they're going to go to a conference, and they're going to have 800 people there. And one day, none of you guys, none of your people are going to know my name, and I'm cool with that. Like, somebody told me that one day when I started in this industry. When you get to a place where nobody knows your name, you've made it. Like, I want my team so big. I want to be like Mario, where people join it. Like, people at conference were like, who's Mario? <laughs> like, that's what I want. I want so many leaders on my team. I want so many people succeeding that, and, and so many amazing uplines that people don't even have to know who I am because the way your leadership is so crazy good. And that's already happening. I mean, that's already a thing that's happening and it's just exciting and even more exciting to know that all of you guys can be exactly right here. And like, I don't just think that I believe it. I know it. Um, and I know you'll be here. That's exciting, right? So exciting. Oh, I want to thank you guys for getting on tonight, hanging with us for, gosh, an hour and a half. You are troopers, um, but you never know what you'd miss if you got off, right? Like, I remember when I first started in this industry, y'all could have done a six-hour call and I wouldn't have hung up. Like, I wanted to soak in all the things. All I did was Google and research and YouTube and, like, every waking second that I wasn't at work, I was I was learning this industry and learning how to do new things and I wanted it so bad that I was listening to everything and I was a sponge and nothing would have gotten me off of Zoom like this. Nothing. No, nobody could have paid me. I would have had my earbuds in at work waiting tables. Like that is how serious it was for me. And, you know, I see the same faces and the same names get on these Zooms in the morning and get on them on Thursdays and tonight. And I, I just know that if you guys keep this up and if you stay consistent, that you're going to get there too. Um, such an amazing time. Congratulations to really just the best team on the planet. What you guys have accomplished already in four and a half years is just stupid good. Like it's hard for me to wrap words around and to think of what you guys are going to do in the next four years. I mean, we are going to quadruple the amount of millionaires in the next four years. If you don't think you can be one of them, it was not on people's radars to beat millionaires, nobody. Heather McCloskey, she was like, oh, that was just for real. You know, Twin never did network marketing before, came over here and literally in record time, she's a millionaire on walking across that stage. And she has several people on her team that are right underneath of her, like right there. Like next year, she's gonna have her own people. It's your limiting belief. I, I literally became a millionaire in this company in 14 months, 14 months to a million dollars. If I can do that, why are you limiting yourself? Stop limiting yourself and know that it's going to happen. Um, so we'll see you guys Thursday night. Um, if you guys are new and you don't know our schedule, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday morning at 7 a.m. Eastern, we have a morning Zoom. And then 
Thursday evenings, we have a Zoom, and then Sunday nights, Stacey Weinberger has a Zoom, and then, of course, your specific leader that you're under probably also has something going on, so make sure you're plugging into that. Hey, um, yeah. Sorry, I missed the time on the Zoom Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. 7 a.m., and we post it, and we'll Is post that it in ESG, the team pages. Though? Hmm? Is that EST? Where yeah, are you? Eastern time. Okay, thanks. Yep, Eastern time. So it's seven Eastern, six Central, five Mountain, and four AM my time, y'all. So that's why I always look like crap or don't have the camera on. Um, but but it happens, and it's a good Zoom, and we do giveaways in the morning, and it's just a fun time. So if you guys aren't joining us, set your alarms. It's a great way to start your day. We always start out with gratitude. Get you consistent for sure. And then um, if you guys are in the Dream Team 2021 page at the top, um, Brittany Hyder has a list of all the calls and the times and the links to the Zooms so that you don't have to miss out on a thing. All right, guys, we'll see you guys Thursday. And if you guys need that link, we'll post it Thursday in the team page and your team leaders will have it. So have a good one. Thanks to everybody that spoke tonight and shared. I appreciate you. Um, and I'm so excited for all of you that I've got to meet at conference. It was so amazing to meet you all. And I'm excited. We're only just getting started, guys. We'll see you Thursday.